I'm Tammy Perdue, Head of Purchasing and Supplies for Bays and Soak and North Hampshire Foundation Trust. As a trust, we provide acute hospital services for around 300,000 patients. We're one of only 12 trusts that have achieved a, a double excellence score for the past two years. This project for us is the next stage in automating our e-procurement processes and it will allow us to have a fully automated end-to-end -end procurement process. In the wider NHS, they've got a lot of national programmes going on in terms of coding of data, in terms of the e-enablement project, and it's all about the same thing and making as many e-services as possible, making our processes electronic. What we want the suppliers to understand is that the process that we're trying to adopt allows them to benefit from it as much as it does us. At the moment, there are a lot of errors on orders because we're not picking the right products from the catalogues. Using this system allows them to maintain their own data and we pick from that data. Therefore, less returns, less credits. It gets the orders right first time. The system allows us to accept electronic invoicing. That goes directly into our internal finance system, um, allowing the orders to match, um, creating prompt to payment to suppliers. So there's a benefit there. They're not going to have to distribute their invoices via the post like they do now. So really there's a whole range of reasons why we want to make it easy for the suppliers because we want it to be easy for us, we need it to be easy for the suppliers. At UK are the host organisation for NHS CAT for the national frameworks and we saw this as a benefit because a lot of the suppliers would be used to seeing the name At UK around, they'd be used to the way At UK work and therefore it wouldn't be a new system to them, they'd, they'd know about the system up front. Now I'm going to show you the At UK e-marketplace. We're going to run through the process from the purchaser placing an order right through to you as a supplier returning an invoice to them. This is the screen that the trust would see when they come to place an order with supplier. And we're going to choose one of our demonstration suppliers, which is a replica of the NHS supply chain catalogue. So into their website, select an item, and add it to the basket, which takes us back into the Trusts at UK portal. And when they check out that item, or it could be a number of items, and return to their main site, that generates an email to you notifying you as a supplier that you have an order waiting to be processed. So now I'll switch over to the supplier side of the system into your control centre side of at UK e-procurement. And over here on the right, you have a to-do box. So just clicking on the orders that require attention brings up all those purchase orders that have been received that haven't yet been processed. Now this is the one that I set up just now. We just click do selected action against send invoice generates a new invoice number or you can enter your own series of numbers. Click send invoice and that's it. That invoice is sent straight into the trust's back office system ready for payment. What we've done is set up a login and loaded data that we've gathered over the past 12 months for that supplier. All the supplier really needs to do is to go in and validate that data and then commit to working with us on getting the ordering right and enabling the electronic invoicing. I would just like to say a few short words very much in support of um, where Tammy's been today and Sheila in terms of what they've been saying to you around endorsing what we're trying to achieve in our work with Basingstoke and more widely um, in our work in the NHS, which is a win-win for both suppliers and buyers in e-procurement. We are fundamentally different, as you may know, to many of the other marketplaces that you've dealt with in that we're committed to putting the control of your websites and your own content back into your hands as suppliers because we see that the critical thing that we're aiming for is buyers doing their jobs and suppliers doing their jobs. In our view, the best 
people to manage their content and their rich content and an understanding of the message that they're getting over to buyers is the supplier. And so from our perspective, putting suppliers in a place where they would load raw Excel database type information into buy side systems seems us to actually to miss a trick. Um, so what we're giving you here is the ability to manage a very rich website environment with full e-commerce, which will actually allow you from a single point to trade with more than one buying organisation. And so once you've engaged with your website in this environment, you'll find that you'll be able to use it to interface with other customer groupings as well. And so in summation, really, we're here to try and make e-procurement as simple as possible and as easy as possible and as enriching an experience as possible for both buyer and supplier and to put the appropriate levels of work into the hands of those who do them best. We're trying to make it as simple as possible for the suppliers and we really just need them to engage with us and work with us to get a system that supports both the supplier and the trust in getting our processes right.